Water, the most precious resource for sustaining life on the planet. The countryside, extending to the south of Milan, has plenty of water. It irrigates the fields, allowing seeds to germinate in spring. Over the summer, it regularly gushes out of springs, fontanili, helping the crops grow for a rich autumnal harvest. Crystal clear water, nourished by the sky and preserved by glaciers, flows downstream from the highest mountain peaks of Europe in a thousand brooks and waterfalls. We will follow the journey of a single drop, out of the infinite number of drops generated through rivers and canals. The drop will eventually come to define the countryside extending to the south of Milan, making it historically one of the most prosperous areas of the world. In the light of the new economic situation, fresh energy has been pumped into the recovery of agricultural activity in the countryside, offering new up-to-date chances for development. The combination of agricultural activity and parkland creates an unforeseen image on the outskirts of Milan, its very existence overshadowed by the international scope of the Lombard city. Thus, the Parco Agricolo Sud Milano is a place to unravel and discover both in its multifaceted activities and its extraordinary beauty. A nearly infinite network of canals was created almost a thousand years ago, taking water from the rivers that run through and nurture the countryside of the Lombard Plain. In fact, it was after 1000 AD that the Cistercian monks developed the technique of land reclamation to convert what used to be marshy and barren lands into fertile and productive ones. The wonderful Chiara Valle Abbey is a little over five kilometers from the center of the city and stands by a water stream. Just like the Mirasole and Viboldone abbeys, it reflects the time when the first remarkable alteration of the southern territories of Milan took place. Inside the abbey, as happens in many other churches of the park, we are welcomed by a warm feeling of peace, evoked here by the austere and powerful Romanesque architecture. A number of pictorial works from different eras, including a memorable 16th century Luini fresco, stand out amid the various architectural perspectives highlighted by sudden chiaroscuro effects. Next to the abbey, the remains of a recently restored mill recreate the original image of productive activity. An ancient knowledge of that past is kept alive in a garden of local officinal herbs.
Canals along their courses not only run past churches and abbeys, but also mighty castles. It is possible to discover surprising 16th century frescoes in the halls of the Medici castle of Melignano, depicting Lombard scenery. Here, familiar mountains act as backdrops for naval combat on lakes surrounded by mountainous landscapes. The countryside of the Parco Agricolo Sud Milano unfolds, bursting with belfries and towers, typical traits of these lands. Here, despite the traumatic changes brought about by industrialization and post-industrialization, people's faces, rituals and productive times have remained the same prompted by the countryside. We encourage you to discover a countryside full of amenities that still manages, despite the proximity of the urban area, to preserve its own agricultural mission intact. It produces rice, wheat, milk and cheese, which are distributed locally and can be sourced in farms and city markets. In these lands, history also plays an important role. Which is why it is possible to find small museums in a number of farms and old rural centers. Old tools, machinery and farmers' traditions are scrupulously treasured here as ancient exhibits of a civilization now forgotten. This is yet another chance for cultural exchange between the city and the green belt of Milan. Nowadays, powerful and efficient machinery characterizes the work in the fields. Nevertheless, in the countryside, the rhythmic elegance of the lives of horses, cows, domestic animals and man remains unchanged. A most surprising feature of the park is the survival of water meadows around the city. Marchita, water meadow, a largely unfamiliar word nowadays is the name of an ancient technique invented by monks in order to have an ongoing production of forage for the animals. Through an ingenious distribution of water, this system allows a continuous production of fresh grass all year round. All this, of course, is made possible thanks to the great amount of water flowing into these lands, gushing out copiously at every step, wherever it is needed. The abundance of water not only makes man's fortune, but also that of the surrounding flora and fauna. The lakes originating from abandoned quarries rightly belong to the beauty of these places. They create charming natural landscapes for the suburbs of the city to look out on. It is not the grey suburb that defines the borders of the urban area, but the countryside that softly slips into the city.
these reclaimed lakes, these swamps and woodland, unspoiled by the modernists' destruction, have become a sheltered and safe haven for every sort of wild animal. The park represents an effort to protect not only the environment, but also man himself, who, in these nearby places, rediscovers what can turn life into a pleasant adventure.